All right, Shalom Wong with the Hebrew Israelites coming at you week in, week out. Um, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect. This is Sean coming at you with another video. And uh, I came across this video. Um, this guy, uh, I forgot the name of the other guy to the right, but Charlemagne. Um, it was on Worldstar, video on Worldstar. And um, a lot of a lot of things that's in Babylon is coming to the forefront. Um, this video is uh, going to going to be about um, women, like how how women were only meant to have to deal with one man, but not in Babylon. It's celebrated. Um, whoredom is celebrated in in Babylon, and that's hence one of the reasons why we got to get out of here because. Um, a woman left up to the, to their own devices is uh, destructive, and um, that's not how um, you know we're we're supposed to live in this in this system. You know, whoredom is celebrated. A lot of diseases are running rapid, and um, I'm gonna play this clip in a minute, and then I'm gonna go to the scriptures to show you how a woman should uh, conduct herself. You know. Um, and hence, hence the reason why a lot of these women are depressed. They, um, they think they can do it all by themselves because, um, Esau has lied to them. This society is already built up. So it's not like you have to do, um, pretty much is built up for your, your sad, uh, sad, um, for your pleasure, for your comfort. Because everything is, you can basically, everything is at your fingertips. You know, you don't have, everything is, everything in America is packaged already, you know. And um, everything is set up for you to uh, to live wicked, you know. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and play um, a little bit of the clip. Here we go. Alex, do you know the Alice body count? Oh my God. Whoa, why you did this? Why you did this? Yo, Alice did this twice. He was like 10, 20, 30. Yo, this guy is crazy. What is going on here? Yo, what is going on? I have nothing to do with this. One question. Wheezy, there's a lot of numbers. You said over 50. There's a lot of numbers over 50. There's a lot of what? There's a lot of numbers over Put 50. your lips on the mic. How you got all this experience and don't know to put your lips I on the mic? I don't know what to do. Um, you said over 50. There's I, between 50 and 75. That's, oh, my, that's, okay. my, that's my real number. And uh, she said it like she didn't really care. I mean, th this is the modern day woman. You know, they, they, they're they not ashamed at all. They're proud of being whores. You know? I mean, it is what it is. We got to call it for what it is. You know, if you sleep, if you slept around and, and these the same women that will, will complain about not have like finding a husband who wants to get with a woman that been been with that many, 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 many men. You know, you could compare it to well, the guy is going to say it in a video. He was half right at the end. You can compare it to a car like <laughs> it's sex means uh to cut, you know, and um. Uh, and you know when you get married, you um you you marriage is is when you get married, and the uh, woman wear the white all white that represents um you um that represents the woman being a virgin. Now how how could she wear the white and she's not um pure? You know she didn't been with a thousand dudes. You know this this woman right here, um it came right from the horse mouth. The, um, the horse's mouth, as they would say. Um, she said over 50 or 70, one of them. That's a lot of, if you think about it. But they're, they're not ashamed no more, you know? It's like, this is Babylon. We we got to be in the last days, you know? I wouldn't, I mean, I know fucking, normally bro. you multiply you by fucking. three, but. Do you count? Like, do you keep like a tally? I have a tally in my phone. Really? Yeah. She started only 75, she, she started How old are you? Weezy? I'm about to be 30 in a month. Do the dick math, oh, Wax. No, 30. don't do it. 
30 years old. So we looking at that. This is this is the majority of these women now, you know. So you got to look and, and then they, <laughs> you know, you got guys out here, you got simps. I'm going to just be straight up. You got simps, these woman worshiping dudes out here that get butt hurt that we say, you know, um, when brothers want to deal with, you know, younger women. Because by the time they hit 30, they didn't slept with, you know, the whole city. You know? And the kingdom, brothers are going to have virgins. We're not going to have um, women that's used up, used in abuse, you know? Here it is, the whole block then, then lay with you. And then you 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 go into a woman thinking you're getting something special. A woman's supposed to be something special to a man. Not something that everybody else had, you know. And this 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 uh feminism that destroyed the minds of the women, you know, this feminism crap is part of Babylon, you know, that's trying to make men and women equal. You're not equal with a man, you know? You can't do the same things a man can do. You know, and I, I was watching a show the other day and it brought out the point. The guy brought out the point where, though, here it is. Um, the work field is free for women to do anything. They don't pick the jobs that building skyscrapers and all that. You know, who's doing all those jobs? The men. You know. And women got the freedom to do it. But why they don't do it? Because they're not cut out to do it. They're not built. They got cut out. The Heavenly Father didn't create a woman to do certain things a man can do. You know, you don't see women on the uh, building skyscrapers or the uh, being architects and the top architects and the top um, scientists. Yeah, you have some, but it's very few. You know. So that's, that's like seven a year. I'm a free years. spirit. When did you start? <laughs> and I've had threesomes, so that's a. See this free spirit thing. This is this is uh that uh YOLO spirit. You only live once spirit. That's the, the Babylonian. We in we that's the Babylonian Roman Greek Empire. You know, all America is Egypt, Babylon, all this wrapped up in one, you know. And this is a most likely an Israelite woman. That's that that's how the average uh Israelite woman. That's her body count, you know, some of them times three, because it's easier for a woman um, to go out here and get sex uh, due to the. Um, you know, all these thirsty dudes and a lot of Jake are sexually deprived, so it's nothing for a woman to go out here and, 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 and lay down with a dude. It's easy for them to get sex in Babylon. You at a time, you know what I mean? Seven a year, seven a year for ten years. I keep that count only because. That's what. I don't know how much that is. Dick every two months. Nah, because I've had long term boyfriends. So may maybe when I'm home. And you, you hear what she said? She had long time boyfriends. So it was some scent that's that's when she was out there messing around. It was some scent that's you know. Hey, you can't trust women now these days. Um, I ain't gonna play the whole video. Um, but they do, you know what? I'm gonna fast forward because they do. He, this guy, do make a point. Hold on, Charlemagne. Yeah, simple behind. Is it's simple behind. Um, because that's I, I want to get to the scriptures. You know what? I'll just play it off. All right, the Let year that we were on. open, so 2019, maybe like 10 in there. I don't think women count in this equation. <laughs> Yo, yeah, because women don't count. Subtract the women out of this. We only count no, dicks. This is dick I just mess. saw Mandy's wig, and you need to really let go of them fucking Dalmatians, yo. The wife, the lady, right? The mom, Cruella Deville. Let go of the Dalmatians, man. Don't go there. Let go of the fucking Dalmatians. That's animal abuse. <laughs> We're gonna do the horrible decisions porn. 101 dicks starring Wheezy and Mandy. <laughs> Mandy gonna be Cruella Deville, and she's gonna be over one penetration. Dick count. You say what? hundred and one penetration. Listen, I think women should be able to do what the fuck they want to do, and I don't judge women for who they've had sex with. I think that's whack to even nah, chastise. And it's uh, guys like him that that make uh, make it harder for us righteous, you know, individuals. You know, those that's trying to follow the scriptures. 
the scripture, where does that say that in the scriptures? But we know, you know, he's part of the world, you know, but I just wanted to bring up that point that you got Jake out here that's promoting um, this free spirit, this uh, free whoredom. It gives women the liberty to be whores, to be uh, wic um, wicked. That's wicked. As a listen, woman, I don't think she got a pass. Listen, I'm not judging. Yeah. I just said I, that I'm just for me the wife. At least if I know, let me accept it. Because only way, only reason why I'm gonna be with a girl because I accept her flaws. I ain't with her because I accept all the great things that she's showing me. I accept all her flaws. That's why I'm with her. So why do you care about the captain? Because I want to know my f you. So you gonna go to a vid you gonna go buy go buy a car? What you gonna do? You don't, like don't want to know what's going on with the car. Look, I like to hear stories. Hey, he made a point. You know, he brought up the car fences. You know, and not to say that a car is. It's like a woman. Hey, it, it, they both, you know, you could. That's a good example, you know. Who wants a something that's already that's used up, you know? Because women are um a man's possession, and it's in the scriptures. It's time to get the scriptures. But I'm glad he brought that point out. Okay, this is Proverbs. I'm gonna start at Proverbs chapter twelve, in verse four. It says, "A virtuous woman is a crown to her husband." A virtuous woman. It says, but she that maketh a shame is a rottenness in his bone. Right. You know, and a lot of women ain't virtuous now these days. You know, yeah, it, that's all these women are. Uh, it's a they are pain in the ass. It says the thoughts of the righteous are right, but the counsel of the wicked are deceit. Let's go to Ecclesiastes and that's self-explanatory. Ecclesiastes. All right, let me see. Hold on, y'all. Okay, I had to go to the Apocrypha, right? To get this scripture, it says Ecclesiasticus chapter 36, uh, verse 24. It says, he that getteth a wife beginneth a possession. Ain't that what I said uh, earlier? You know, your woman is your possession. That's yours, you know? I don't think they heard me. I'm going to read it again. It says, he that getteth a wife beginneth a possession, a help like unto himself, and a pillar of rest. So your woman should be your rest, you know? When you come home from work or wherever you're coming from, she's supposed to comfort you, you know? Not yell at you, you know? That's backwards, you know? That's that's this Babylonian crap, you know? She ain't supposed to be out on the street horn. You come home, you found out that she just slept with everybody, you know? That ain't the way to go. Okay, back to the King James version of the, uh, you know, the Bi regular Bible. It says, this First Corinthians 11 and 8, I'm going to start at 8. It says, well, you know what? I can start at, we're going to read this whole thing. It says, yeah, let's start at 8. It says, for the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. For this cause ought the woman to have power on her head because of her, because of the angels. So like, yeah, the one, we're not of the woman. The woman is, is of the man, you know. I could read on. It says, ne nevertheless. Neither is the man without the woman, neither the woman without the man in the Lord. So the woman, we were created for each other, but we wasn't created for the woman. The woman were created for us, the men. So you woman got a, these, this thing backwards. You woman think that we were created for you. And that's not of the truth. Yes, we were created for each other, but you mainly were created for us. You know, because we don't come from the woman you woman come from us the man but in this babylonian system you would think that these these you got these niggas bound on their knees getting on their knees for women that's backwards that's that's uh an act of worship you know that come from the roman empire men bowing down to their woman you know offering her a ring that's not that's not righteous that's not how the heavenly father set it up you know you're not supposed to be worshiping women. That's simp behavior, you know? And that's what got us in this predicament in the first place. Adam going off in the garden, you know, following behind Eve. 
the woman's supposed to follow you, you know? Um, so to close it out, let's get this last scripture. Let's go to Romans. Yeah, you got these guys that's worshiping um, women. Now, you want to treat your woman right. Of course, that, you know, but um, that's why, you, you know, that you ain't supposed to, a woman's supposed to be following you, you know. Plus, that turns a woman off anyway. A woman don't want to deal with a man that, you know, that's under her. That's why all these divorces and stuff like that happen, you know. This is uh, Romans chapter 1. And I'm going to go to uh, verse 26. It says, for this cause, Yahweh gave them up unto vile affections. For even their woman did change the natural use into that which is against nature. You know, and and everything is upside down. You know, the, the scripture said it, the scriptures prove it. And you look out in this world. Every everything is upside down. You know, women are in men positions, women being supervisors, telling you what you supposed to do or telling you, trying to tell you what to do. You know, the scripture said a woman not is not supposed to have authority over a man. You know. It says in uh, verse 27 and likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of the woman. You know, you got all these. uh homosexuals going around, you know, these men lying with men. You got Jake, this, this totally, totally wicked, you know, Jake is wicked, man. It said burn in their lust one towards another men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving themselves that recompense of the error of which is met. And we all err, err in the Lord, you know, but that's why you know, we, uh, the, the heavenly father is showing mercy on us and definitely his elect, you know, cause in the eyes of the, in the eyes of the heavenly father, the elect are perfect, you know, the elect in his eyes are precious to him, you know, in reality, we all, we all deserve death because we all had sin, but that's where the heavenly father going to show us mercy. In these last days, in this up and coming uh, downfall of America, the society, you know, Babylon the Great. So I hope this was ever edifying to the body. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah Kodash. Till again, Shalom.